The overall athlete assessment is an important part of what we do. We really use that assessment to design better, more streamlined training programs. One of the first things that we would include in our athlete assessment is the movement assessment, which is going to be done on the human track 3D camera system. So we prescribe a series of movements that we then video, and it works with a special type of software to detect joint ranges of motion. So what we're looking for is any asymmetries from right to left, and then just a general uh, flexion extension relationships in various joints in the upper and lower body. A common thing that we'll find in that human track assessment is a lack of ankle mobility, which is very common in the sport of basketball because of being taped and braced for the majority of their playing career. So we're essentially trying to put them in an environment where we can get some of that mobility back to perform some of our weight room movements and then also put them in a better position to not get injured on the court. We do several different types of jumps to assess different sub-qualities within the umbrella term of, of jumping. And we'll do some of these on the force plates and then some of them will be done on the court on the vertex. So when we do them on the court with the vertex, we're doing two types of jumps, a vertical jump and then a max vertical jump where we allow the athlete to have a running start and they get to choose whether they want to jump off one leg or two. So we're essentially looking at, at the height of the jumps. As where with the force plate jumps, we're looking at how an athlete produces force. How much force do we produce in the ground and what amount of time does it take us to do that? And so that'll kind of raise some red flags as to what we need to focus a little bit more on in our training. One thing I did this year, and it's very simple, is a questionnaire. It's got like a, a cutout of a human body and we have the players basically like circle areas of concern. We've received a lot of valuable information from our entire team and we can draw uh, trends from this questionnaire. And so the common areas that we're seeing that there were either pre-existing injuries and or nagging injuries. So we're finding previous ankle injuries, patellar tendonitis pain, and a lot of times that's intermittent. There's not an injury that goes along with that, but we can address that in our training. Um, and then low back tightness, um, so I think We've used that questionnaire to kind of spearhead our preventative and prehab exercises that we'll do before a lift. One thing Coach Hallen has continually pushed me to think outside the box and make sure I'm exposing myself to the latest cutting edge assessment tools, technology, training modalities, um, anything that's going to make our program better. So the last area of our assessment would be our neurocognitive assessment, and this is a a new area for us as well as uh, uh, a lot of people in the performance field. Um, we think it's a, a missing link to training and it's something that we've been trying to address for the last couple seasons. So we use this using the Synaptech sensory station and it assesses up to 20 visual qualities. More basic ones would be um, acuity or reaction time, uh, response time, testing peripheral vision versus central vision. So essentially we're, we're t attacking vision training for this aspect of our assessment. You know, we're very particular about any type of new technology that we're gonna bring into the program because it's very important to us that we're gonna continue to drive the overall operation of how we assess, how we train forward without distracting the athlete or adding unnecessary steps to our assessment.